of the the as they would probably say in law the prima facie evidence that mm -hmm. something is fundamentally wrong mm -hmm is the situation that the National Commercial Bank is in at the moment. <laughs> I, hear I, people, laugh. I hear people talk about the situation at the National Commercial Bank all the time. And mm -hmm. I mean, Jerry, I have the figures here. I mean, coincidentally, you know, as to what is what pertains at the National Commercial Bank. And, you know, we can go over some of them. 1998, the total assets of the bank was $313 million. In 2009, it was $813 million. The total loans in 1998 was 205.3, 2009 is 569.2 million. The provisions for loan losses you had in 1998, 2.9 million dollars, in 2009, 10.6. And we come to that, that's part of the reason why you had a big drop in the profits of mm -hmm. the bank because there was a big provision for loan losses. Jerry, but isn't there a contradiction? Mm -hmm. Tell me. You read this data and say that the bank is doing so well. And yet the reality is we have to forfeit the right to owning the bank. <laughs> you know, every time I hear people say that, and particularly you, Jerry, I find it funny and I have to laugh. Because I've heard you so many times talk about the private sector and about the private sector should be the ones involved in certain things and governments shouldn't be involved. I thought that persons like you, Jerry, who are so pro-private sector and even the New Democratic Party, I really thought that they would have jumped on board and fully support the government's move to privatize the National Commercial Bank. So James certainly has, even recently, because Sir James had initiated that, had said that very early, that he would privatize the National Commercial Bank, he would hands, privatize the, hands, the National Broadcasting let's, Corporation, let's, 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 and let's, so on. Let's look at this and be real. Mm. Yes, and let me put it down on the yes. table. Yes, I am one of those people who are 100% behind private, private sector. sector right. In fact, let me, let me point to something that, you know, there were a lot of people over the years would castigate you for saying that. Cuba mm -hmm. has said, has determined that that's the way to go. Yes, they're going to if, privatize a number exactly. of things. So if there are people who before mm. doubted those of us and mm. called us all kinds of names, the evidence is there. Yes. So let's put that out. Of there. Mm -hmm. But is the case of the, pri of, the, of the sale of the National Commercial Bank mm -hmm. a decision by the government? It is a decision by the government. And, and, of, you know, its own of its own making? volition. Yes, Jerry, this is, a, this is something articulated by the Prime Minister a long time ago. And, you know, sometimes I wonder if some of the journalists here don't follow. Apparently, we don't like to listen to the Prime Minister. The Prime Minister outlined in Parliament the whole history of this thing. We have not just started the initiative of trying to privatise the National Commercial Bank. This is an initiative that has been going on for a number of years now. Hold on, we are getting it. some success let's, 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 it now. Let's face it, right? You read mm. some, some figures, how mm. well the bank was doing. Yes. Good? Yet the bank finds itself having to go to this, the Caribbean Development Bank mm -hmm. to borrow a hundred million dollars. hundred million dollars, yes. Mr. King, let us look at where we are at at the moment, right? Because there are people who are viewing you mm -hmm. and they're going to be listening very carefully to what you say, mm -hmm. right? Is it true that the decision to sell the National Commercial Bank was a logical decision that the government made because it thought the bank should go to the private sector? Yeah. Next question. Why would the bank, would the government make a decision like that mm -hmm. where they, they would give up mm -hmm. access to being able to get funding mm -hmm. easily when they own the bank, <laughs> be able to have better mm -hmm. overdraft facilities mm -hmm. when they own the bank, mm -hmm have more access and be able to send more of their own people to the bank. Why would the government give that up? In the interest of the bank, in the interest of strengthening the asset base of the bank so that the bank could be a bigger, stronger bank and therefore serve the people of St. Vincent and the Grenadines better. Opposition leader Mr. Adam Houston mm -hmm. said in a meeting a couple of nights ago mm -hmm. that he has documentation to mm -hmm. show that one of the conditions mm -hmm of the $100 million loan from the CDB is that before the money is even disbursed, mm -hmm. that the bank must be sold. So that is good. But let me ask you what a is question, about that? Jerry. No, but let me ask you a question, Jerry. Do you think that the CDB approached the government to ask the government if they want $100 million to borrow or that the government approached the CDB? The government... No, wait, no let me finish answering bank, the question. Does, does the bank approach you? No, but let me finish answering the question. The which is why I'm get, that's what I'm getting to. Which is why, when I hear people make that point, the government of St. Vincent and the Grandines approached the Caribbean Development Bank to borrow the $100 million because 
we were going to privatize the bank. That is part of privatizing the bank. You're going to privatize the bank. The okay. government has okay. a big loan at the bank. A private sector person coming in to buy the bank over. Do you think they want to see that big debt of the government but that's on the my bank point. balance so sheet? I'd, okay, let us assume that you made a decision, boy, mm. let us go and get this $100 million. Mm -hmm. So you go to the bank. The bank says, show us your accounts. Mm -hmm. The banks look through your accounts and they say, aha, uh -huh, this thing is terrible. <laughs> we will give you the $100 million. Mm -hmm. But No, Jerry, you're missing my point. I'm telling you. No, no, bank, I think you, you need to take no, my point no, no, on board. No, 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 no. Let me go over and you listen again. I'm, okay. I am saying the government went to the CDB saying, we are going to privatize the National Commercial Bank. As part of the privatization of the National Commercial Bank, we want to borrow $100 million to pay off debts that we, the government, has at the National Commercial Bank to make it more attractive for the private investor to come out. Let's look at those debts because I think those debts are important. I'm coming back, I'm yes. coming back around at that, yes. right? The government has, um, in fact, I understand it, the debts more is in the tune of $162 million. Mm -hmm. But let's, let's face it, housing and loan, overdraft housing facilities. And land. Sorry, mm -hmm. and land, sorry. Mm -hmm. Overdraft facilities almost amount to $6 million. Mm -hmm. All right? Let me just pick a couple of them. Mm -hmm. National property is some $2.86 mm -hmm. If you go over to the loan section of this, you have a situation where national property owes the NIS $47 million, mm -hmm. plus other loans, $17.7 .7 million in one case, two point, another $2.6 mm -hmm. million. Kingston Town Board owes $7 million. Yeah. Isn't this saying that the government has mismanaged the country's finances? No, it's not Why are that. we in this position? It's not saying that. For example, let's take national properties that you use. What about the assets of national properties? How much assets does national property own in comparison to what are its loans but where did the assets debts. of national property come from from the government from the state the state's properties were vested in national properties mm -hmm. as a state company to manage government assets mm -hmm. so yes uh, the, uh, so that question is leading to where well that leads me to ask you next question mm -hmm. when we sell the national commercial bank mm -hmm. are we selling the, the the buildings the real estate also I believe that some of that would be going go to the, the, the buyer because some of the properties for the National Commercial Bank that were in national properties may go back to the bank or in fact some no, have so gone I'm, back I'm to the bank. I'm just using that to illustrate yeah. that, the, that, that structure mm -hmm. that you have where you're mm -hmm. telling me that the, the real estate goes into national properties. Mm -hmm. Now, if that were true, mm -hmm. then leave the national property with mm -hmm. the assets, mm -hmm. the, the, the building assets of the, mm -hmm. of the bank and just sell the services of the bank. Again, that's, but it cannot happen mm -hmm. that way. Tell me why. Which, who's going to buy the bank like that? Right, well, that's what I'm actually telling me why. So the bank is getting back some of its assets. National properties, therefore, will pay off some of its loans. The bank's balance sheet is, again, looking better to attract the private sector investor, which you, Jerry George, which Sir James Mitchell wants to see happen. And I'm glad you pointed out a number of the issues. I thought that we would be glad that a government can't, any government, can't just go and borrow from the National Commercial Bank, that they can't just go and have overdraft facilities at the National But Commercial any government who has, go in other and countries, send, right? And send people to work. No, I thought that that would make people on. happy. In other countries like that you. have national banks, mm. right? The government, it's mm. not the ideal situation, mm. but certainly in a tight situation, it's an asset that the government would like to have. But let me ask you, Jerry, but what, not is, abuse. what is your position on this one? Do you, to would have, you like to see, but not would you like to see the National Commercial Bank privatized or not? I'd like to see more things privatized. But you, so you'd but like what to I'm the saying, would you like situation? to see the National Commercial Bank privatized? Oh, absolutely. Okay. But what I'm go. saying in this situation, mm -hmm. I'm arguing from yes. the information that I have, mm -hmm. that the privatization <laughs> is a situation that has been forced upon the government. And I'm telling you no, and I have said it to you before. So Perhaps if it is you don't true, believe me. Okay. But I'm saying true. no, it was not forced upon the government. If it is true, therefore, mm -hmm. that the bank is saying we will not disburse any money mm -hmm. until we know that you have some body has signed over for the ownership of the mm -hmm. bank if that is true what does that say that's part of the conditionality because if you if i come to you and is say, that a regular business conditionality but this is yes jerry i come to you and say i'm going to privatize the national commercial bank but here what as part of privatizing it i have some debt there and i want to pay it off so i want to borrow the money from you to pay it off so that i can get it privatized I would say that I would say, well, yes, if you're going to do that, that is part of the agreement that for you to get the hundred million dollars, you have to privatize. I don't see what is the science in this. If, if you know, people speak of this as if it's astronomy or something strange. The government went to the CDB and well, said, some people might think it's strange that a government who has a good functioning mm -hmm. bank will mm -hmm. want to give it up. 
That's well, what people would say is strange. Well, I don't know. As I said, I thought you would support that. So James Mitchell had said he wanted to privatize the National Commercial Bank, the National Broadcasting Corporation, um, the marketing board. That's the direction I would think a lot of people who have been branding this government as a socialist government. Here it is, now that the government is going the direction of privatizing state properties, state companies, that people are criticizing that move. I find it mind-boggling, really. <laughs> These huge mm -hmm. debts yes. that have been chalked up by government statutory bodies, what is it saying about, about how things are being run? Well, Jerry... Because clearly, the loans mm -hmm. are happening because mm -hmm. there is no way for these, uh, these bodies to generate the income or to yes. recoup it. So what is it saying about the management of... of, of that there are issues. Mm -hmm. and what are some of those issues? The issues in terms of management, perhaps some of them shouldn't be in the government, as you yourself have said, as a person who um, supports the private sector. Perhaps there are businesses that the government shouldn't be in, you know, and we are looking to, in fact, get out of a number of them. For example, Food City, National Properties Food City. The government is looking for a private sector person to come and take that over. Because really and truly, we've come to the point, yes, we have Somebody a policy. said, right? Mm -hmm. Somebody said, and this might be a bit facetious, but mm -hmm. might also be so not. Somebody says that if the government gives up Food City, mm -hmm. the airport project could run into difficulty. Because what is happening basically mm -hmm. is that the government goes to Food City, mm -hmm. takes the food to feed the workers who are working mm -hmm. there, and they wouldn't get credit to do that if Food City wasn't there. Well, I can tell you, I don't think Food City is the biggest supplier of food for the workers at the International Airport of Dagai. It is not. So okay. the government gets credits from other supermarkets and then they will continue to get credit from other supermarkets. So, okay, so Food City mm -hmm. is one of them. What else? Mm -hmm. Well, I haven't heard about the National Commercial Bank as we talked about. I haven't heard about any other really big one. The National Broadcasting Corporation, I've not heard any discussion about that. But that is what Sir James said that should have been privatized. The Do government has moved. Yeah, I would agree with that. But hold on. But that's a similar situation mm. to what I said about the bank. About the bank. The, the government is, has you access. You have a Exactly. And you want would to Would you naturally it? give that up? But, Jerry, what no is more important? No, no, government wait, now. But what is more important, as a person who has been talking about the finances and the books and so on, mm. is getting these on their footing where the government would have less and less debt to deal with. I agree. That is just the, the, the financial mm. aspect. Mm. But the bigger picture is no government that has absolute control we we'll want to give media. it up easily. We'll give it up Which easily. is why I guess Sir James talked about it, but for 17 years did nothing. Okay. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> who has a why. bank, uh -huh. no government who has mm. a bank, where Jerry, they can go if to. If you're going to do it in the interest of that bank, and I'm saying that is what this government is doing, it's doing in the interest of the National Commercial Bank to increase the asset base of the National Commercial Bank so that the National Commercial Bank can be, deal with bigger, li bigger clients, give bigger loans, have a stronger asset but, base, but let me show a you bigger something. bank. We are saying, for example, and I heard mm. the Prime Minister say this two days ago when he called in from New York, mm. that St. Vincent is doing better than any other OECS. Mm. But a, a St. Lucia is buying the bank. No, no, no. St. Lucia is not buying the bank. Well, the St. Lucia St. National Bank. National Bank. Right. Well, who are the owners of the St. Lucia National Bank? Is the government of St. Lucia the major owner of the St. Lucia National Bank? No, it's not the major okay, owner. Then. I agree <laughs> with that. It's not the major <laughs> owner. But the point I'm making is that when one looks at the, the loan portfolio... By the way, the, the, the St. National Bank is traded on the Eastern Caribbean Stock mm -hmm. Exchange, the company that has the major holdings in that. I think mm -hmm. it's Eastern Caribbean Holdings or something like that it's called. Mm -hmm. So it's not the government of St. Lucia that is the major. Uh, look at the big bank in Barbados, the Barbados National Bank. I think I was at Cavill at the time when the government of Barbados was selling that. There was a lot of hurrah and uproar and so on. But the government made the right decision and sold to the Barbados National Bank. But the government made a decision not mm. because the government was found themselves in a financial boy. They made a and decision I'm because they we, saw what was you're happening. You're still saying that. Perhaps you don't believe me that. or you don't believe the Prime Minister. But I'm saying that is not why the government is selling the National Bank. Which one should I bank. distrust then? You are the Prime Minister. Anyone you choose to. <laughs> anyone you choose to. That it is and has been a deliberate policy of the government to privatize the National Commercial Bank. To increase it. I mean, you've just said it. If we wanted to, I mean, we could say, boy, let me hold on to this thing. Mm -hmm. We could go and get overdraft, we could go and borrow, we could send people to work and so on and so forth. But is that in the interest of the bank? But no, but we're in a position, we're in a tight spot, we can't, mm -hmm. we don't have mm -hmm. that liberty. That's my point. But here it is, Jerry, it must be a very confident government who would say, in all this tight spot situation that you're talking about in terms of the world economy and so on, that we're still going to do this and say, well, we can still survive what's, and we can still manage the, conf the economy. Where's the confidence there? Where's there the is confidence? Co you have to have confidence. You've so, just to said sell it. Off a, to sell off a you've bad just, asset? Jerry, you've just said it. 
that the government right now can go and have an overdraft facility of X amount. But there's no money. Borrow. But that's the difference. No money. There, is, there money. is no money. There is money. So then, if there is there money, is money. The, 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 the people at, at um, mm. CDB says they were given the loan, the loan to increase the liquidity of the, the liquidity. bank. liquidity, yes. Now, if there's liquidity, right? If mm -hmm. there's liquidity, why are you going to get money to, for increase okay. liquidity? There is a certain standard in terms of liquidity that there may mm -hmm. be sufficient. But if you want to, again, Jerry, go back to the issue, you want to attract an investor in to the bank. Mm -hmm. You want somebody to buy the bank. Mm -hmm. You have to do certain things to make it more attractive for that person. And part of making it more attractive is paying off this government loan, having the bank have more liquidity in this $100 million that the bank will now have for on lending to other people. So, all of these institutions that employ people mm -hmm. that are now in financially strapped, mm -hmm. Kingston County Board, Housing and Land Cooperation, Food City, mm -hmm. um, the list goes on. Mm -hmm. What about their survival? They will survive. As I said, some of them will be privatized, as in the case of Food City. I'm sure when whoever private sector person comes in, they're not going to just fire everybody and lay off everybody. They will do their own restructuring. Perhaps they will take on new staff. Maybe they will lay off some of the old staff. So you'll have some of that. But it is better than this, though, where the opposition leader has clearly stated in the case of national properties, he would shut that down. So all of those persons at national properties, if the opposition leader was to win, they know that they're going home. But I want to ask you another question because I've heard him state clearly, and I'm, I'm sure you may know more his position than I. Why would I? <laughs> I <laughs> will get the same information that you get, the same way that you get. I'm sure you're much closer to Adam Eustace than I am, Jerry George. Okay. I, I'm sure you're very close to him. Okay. But if the NDP were to win, is Adam Eustace saying that he would not privatize the National Commercial Bank? Has he stated that? But because, he can't. Because I remember him saying, I <laughs> remember him cannot. saying in, in Parliament. The matter is out of the government's hand and mm. the matter is out of the no, 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 opposition's no, no. hand. The, gov the matter is not out of the government hands. Well, no. It is if not. you, if you, if you decide the to take the hundred million dollars, yes, then you have that to privatize. Precisely. Right. So I'm saying, would he continue with that policy? If it is, because you have made it sound this morning like this, it is such a crisis situation, it is so bad and so on. But I thought I heard Adam used to say in Parliament basically that he just wanted to know the terms and it's a good move. And I saw him quoted in the newspaper when it was first let me, mentioned about let the million dollars. Let me ask you a question, right? That um, he was glad to see that. The 30th of mm. November is the mm. date given for this deal. Mm -hmm. If the deal is not, what they call it, signed off, signed off by the 30th, 30th mm. of, mm. of November, the you don't get the hundred million, million, million dollars. Yeah. Are we having elections before then? <laughs> <laughs> if you ask me, well, Adam, well, this is his position. Well, then well, perhaps. well, there are two persons. There are two persons who know that. I mean, one is a deity, which is God. And the other is Ralph Gonzalez, a mere mortal man. Well, no, but if you I don't know the date about, of the general election. about the opposition leader's <laughs> position, right? <laughs> then it would appear mm -hmm. that you're saying, well, elections will take mm -hmm. place before and he'll have to make that decision. Elections can take, what, 21 days from now, elections can take place. So I really don't know. You know, it could take place anytime. It could take place before that. It could take place after that. But I'm saying at any point in which it takes place, if it does before November 30th, what would be the position of the leader of the opposition? But they won't have you know? to have a position, that's mm -hmm. my point. Because mm -hmm. as long as you initial that loan mm -hmm. by, by November No, but 30th, you could refuse to take the loan. If, if the NDP comes to the government... But he would not be in a position to do say, so. Yeah, if, we come, if elections are called before November 30th, mm -hmm. and the NDP wins by some miracle, and Adam Eustace don't want to sell the bank. He just said to the CDB, listen, we don't want the $100 million, we're going to keep our bank. But the, oh, so you mean the disbursement would not? But it the, would not come. We would not get the hundred million dollars. But let us suppose mm -hmm. that what I what he said is mm -hmm. true. Mm -hmm. that, which is what? Which is that the disbursement of the loan mm -hmm. only happens once the bank a new owner takes over the bank. But we have agreed to that. We have agreed to that. That that is part of the condition. That's what was was read out in Parliament, right? The privatization. No, no, no. That's the first time we're hearing this. And that the privatization of the bank is the, the hundred dollars, the hundred million dollar loan is connected to the privatization of the bank. Listen to what I'm saying because this is the mm. important part. Okay, let me hear it again. That mm -hmm. the disbursement of the funds, in other mm -hmm. words, the bank, the government, because mm -hmm. it's not the bank, the mm -hmm. government, the government will not get the money unless the bank has the documents in its possession that the bank is sold. That is what I believe the situation is. Isn't but that we what never we articulated? No. That the, that the loan depends on when the when, when Adam Eustace asks Parliament. the question about the mm -hmm. when Adam Eustace asks the question about the conditionalities of the loan, wasn't it said that it depended on the divestment of the bank? The That's not what was said. 
Well, I stand corrected. Okay. I stand corrected. And you could go back and listen? Yeah, I would go because, back and listen. And I, no, I, I heard, simply that I'd ask the Prime Minister on Monday. Yeah, the divide. Because the divide I, I, in my head, I thought that the loan, as I've been no, no, saying no, hold on. There are two things. throughout the whole program, there are two things, the right? loan depends on the divestment oh, of the bank. No, the loan is mm. one thing, right? Mm. The loan is one thing. Mm. So I might agree to a loan, yeah. but the loan might say, okay, I'll give you the loan, mm -hmm. But down the road you divest the bank. Mm. It's a completely different scenario mm. when getting the monies is mm. consequent upon first of all selling the business. But Two again, different things. again, again, I keep saying in my mind, and like I say, stand corrected. I thought that is what it was. I thought that's what no, we no, it would be in your mind. You would have known this some no, 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 close no, 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 I'm saying for, in my mind, I see it as one and the same. No, it's not one and the same thing. All right, it's not one and the same thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's take a break at this point in time.